Hi guys and ladies, one of my subscribers, Thai Man, has been urging me to make fish tostadas. Well, I thought that was a nutty idea. But lo and behold, I stumbled on a low carb fish tostada recipe. So I picked up all the ingredients except one, and you already know which one. So let's go fishing. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. so nervous. Let's get our fish on. Ah, help! A good one. No, well, maybe not. Ah, yes, indeedy, a good one. Wow, is it big? Again, it's like in the middle of the lake. I don't know what's going on this year. Another good one. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Look how heavy he is. Heavyweight. Let me show you what I'm using today. This is a one and a quarter inch micro craw. Micro craw by Mr. Twister. And I put it on a one thirty second ounce jig head. That's all very light, light, light. And I'm going to try trolling it at a very slow speed. Got one. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, he's big. Big enough. I got another. Small. Ooh. Not, not small. In the middle of the lake, what's going on? I got another, I, yes. Oh, I felt a bump. Ah, that one fight, it fought hard, but it's not that big. That's all right, it's edible. Big enough, big enough. Every cast. Mm. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Ah, now I'm back to fishing the shorelines. And now it's every cast I get a bite, but this one is significant. Not bad, but I don't need it. That's a nice fish. I'm going to throw it back. Looky here, we have plenty of bluegill, so the fishing part of our mission is accomplished. Now let's get in the house and fillet these tasty tunas, and tomorrow it's tostadas. Yesterday we used a tiny bait, but we caught some really big bluegill. And that strategy resulted in, look, a pound and a half of these pretty fillets. Aren't they healthy looking tots? 
There's no time to waste though, so let's start out on our low-carb tostadas. First up, a unique avocado tartar sauce. I've got a bit of a dilemma here. You see the recipe calls for two pickled jalapenos, chopped. But I found a jar of pickled jalapenos already chopped. And unless I glue them back together, how will I know how much equals two jalapeno peppers? I'm just going to use two tablespoons. Oh no. I've got a big avocado here. I have to peel and chop it. I've done this before, but it's been a long time. Oh, not bad. Ha ha. Ha ha. It works. I'm so excited. I got a brand new gadget that my old one lacked for years because I lost it. Look at it. It's called a lid. <laughs> and this is a new blender from Walmart. Let's get to blending. First, our avocado goes in. Next is one third cup of mayo going in. Next, two tablespoons of Dijon Grey Poupon. My French pronunciation is impeccable. Next are pickled jalapenos. Chopped cilantro, oh, about a quarter cup, maybe more. What the heck? Now I have to add two teaspoons of lime juice. So look what I got. Look at these. Did you ever see anything so tiny? Walmart, same place I got the blender. Let's see what we get out of one half. Let's use the other half. That's more than enough. I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of water. Not the whole thing as called for because, because I have so much lime juice. Here's a quarter teaspoon of cumin, maybe a little bit more, and a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. I think we're ready to blend. Let's try the first button. It says easy, clean, stir. So you kind of have to do some by hand, I guess. We've got it. It's supposed to be just pourable, it says, and I think that's what this is. I'll taste it. Mmm, tart. Limey, cilantro y. Oh, this is good. Really good. Mmm. Oh, and creamy. Here's some green onion I also found at Walmart. Let's just sprinkle them over the top of our sauce. Put this in the fridge and get on with the fish. As you see, I've got our fish all laid out and I'm sprinkling it with this. McCormick's Mexican seasoning. You can make your own seasoning or you can use Old Bay or something like that. There's not that much salt in this, so I'm going to sprinkle it on both sides. There you go. I'm going to put our little pan piranhas under the broiler for like four minutes. It's been four minutes. Let's get out our little gullible guppies. They're cooked fine. I'm gonna let these cool, then just chunk them up in a bowl. So I got queso fresco at Walmart too. Everything came from Walmart this week. Look at, there it is. Now I tasted this and it, it isn't bad. It's not pecorino romano. It's a little salty, but it has a really nice full flavor. Full and rich. Time to chunk up our little water wimps. I've got a little fry pan with olive oil in it. And here are low carb tortillas. I think they're mission. Mission? I think maybe 45 seconds on each side. Make sure you burst the bubbles. You have to burst the bubbles. See how they bubble up? Burst the bubbles like Miss Lulu Cheeks burst mine week after week. Now that's ready, I think. Now I'm going to put them on a rack. Just a rack. Don't blot with paper towels. Leave them crispy. 
They came out nice and toasty, and I'm ready to top them with fixing. But I have a second, so you should all know that the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to join me here for dinner tonight, and I'm, I'm beyond delighted. Although, I, I suppose I ought to get real because we've been seeing each other for, I don't know, countless decades. Yet she doesn't seem eager to marry me, and I think it's, I think it's because, well, I'm not a well-to-do guy. Financially, I'm, a, let's face it, a bust out. But I know I would make a good husband. Let's get some of our sauce on here. Avocado tartar sauce. Now some finely shredded cabbage. Look, I've got some pre-chopped onions from the supermarket. Load them up. And now at the heart of our dish, bluegill. Now just a little bit of this lime juice, just a little. Now, queso fresco. Oh yes, oh it even looks good. Queso fresco. Here's our crema from Walmart. Ah yes, cilantro, a little bit of cilantro. How about a few green onions just to really top it? Well, it's my great honor to have here with me this evening the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you immensely for driving out here to my flimsy farmhouse where you had a chance to fervently feed on my bluegill tostadas. And I'm eager to find out what you thought of them. It, it was very good. It was very refreshing. It was perfect for the last weekend of summer. And the flavors were all beautifully blended. The, uh, you know, the cilantro and the avocado sauce and the mm, avocado. and the cheese and the fish and the to the tostada. It was all. I enjoyed it very much. I thank, thank you. you. I did too. I like that yes. avocado tartar sauce. Yes, yes. Miss Cheeks. Oh, I, I can uh, call you Lulu now. Certainly. Oh, thank you. I I realize that I, I don't have a. A mansion like Leo does. I don't have a Porsche like Mike and well I'm not extremely rich like Frank but well let's face it I think I'd make a, a good devoted husband. Oh dear how sweet. Uh, what was that you said about Frank? Huh? Oh. Uh, can I have a hug?